Director General Majed Al Mesmar, Chair Mohammed Al Ramzi, Director Mario Manjevic, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, what a great honor it is for me to address this conference in its final moments. WRC 23 was a marathon, and as a runner myself, I know that there's always this sort of point in time where you feel that you're hitting a wall. And every new step takes a lot from you. But ladies and gentlemen, delegates, you, you kept going. In fact, I would, I would say that you actually sprinted. You sprinted to the finish line. So my sincerest congratulations to all of you. WRC 23 took place at a critical point in the digital revolution. It's a moment where innovation can accelerate the pace of inclusion in the global transition to digital, when technology is racing ahead at a warp speed. It is a moment, as I urged you four weeks ago, to stand together and to harness the potential of radio technologies and radio services to its fullest. And that's exactly what you did. So let me highlight just a, a few examples and I'll start perhaps with space, the next frontier. While our work here is focused on technical, it's a critical enabler to every aspect of ITU's mission to leave no one behind in the digital revolution. And it's a truly historic moment. This WRC has launched an agenda item to create the regulatory building blocks for lunar communications, expanding scientific discovery and space exploration. Decisions taken here at WRC 23 also help to ensure that ITU is contributing to space sustainability going forward. For example, a more stable and transparent regulatory framework for space services was also agreed at this conference and the post milestone procedure for NGSO satellite systems was revised. Closer to Earth, you've also enhanced safety of life applications for all of your citizens. For example, you've helped make seafaring safer by supporting the modernization of the regulatory framework around global maritime distress and safety systems. The vital importance of these applications is clear in your decisions to protect radio navigation satellite service and also allocate new frequencies to aeronautical mobile satellite services. We also saw a well-supported compromise for the amateur radio community, and of course it's always terrific to see how active that community is. These WRC outcomes will help them to continue to experiment and explore with new technologies, as well as supporting technical competence development. As the world gathered here in Dubai for COP28 that just recently concluded, they came in search of climate solutions. And we heard calls for technology to help advance climate monitoring, weather prediction, disaster management, and other scientific applications that our planet and our future generations depend upon. And you answered that call through key decisions to protect space research and Earth exploration. You also defined space weather in the radio regulations and endorsed the adoption and implementation of continuous UTC, Coordinated Universal Time, as the internationally recommended timescale. Many of your administrations have also pledged to our partner to connect digital coalition which is aimed at reaching the hardest to connect communities through partnership and investment. Important agreements on terrestrial services reached 
at this conference, including support, further support to IMT deployment worldwide, will help to bring us even closer to connecting the 2.6 billion people that remain unconnected. Additional frequencies and critical mid-bands unlocking HIBs as a new platform for mobile connectivity give a renewed push to IMT acceleration. Ladies and gentlemen, networks are converging, combining elements of terrestrial IMT, Wi-Fi, satellite and HIBS links, and provide for broadband for everyone, everywhere at affordable prices. This is a game changer for universal meaningful connectivity. And these are just, of course, some examples of your great work and the BR director will of course further complement these examples, examples of what you have done here in Dubai to really help put the world on a solid path towards a more connected, more sustainable, more equitable, and more inclusive digital future for all. These key achievements for spectrum, for space, for, for science, and for terrestrial radio services build on the momentum of ITU's ongoing work to achieve universal connectivity and sustainable digital transformation. But delegates, today we celebrate more than impressive technical outcomes. The feat that you've accomplished here is ultimately about people, about the people that you serve, and ensuring a brighter future for all of them, including women, young people, older persons, refugees, rural communities, indigenous communities, and other vulnerable groups. An inclusive digital future where everyone can benefit from technologies that are enabled and are also protected by the decisions of this very conference. Take resolution 559, for instance. WRC marks the completion of nearly a decade of work leading up to and during the implementation of resolution 559 on plan bans for broadcasting satellite services. I think this collaborative spirit that you have shown in making equitable access a reality in these countries actually mirrors your efforts throughout this very WRC. These past few weeks may not have been so easy. Mr. Chair, as you well know, there were some long and sleepless nights involved. But ladies and gentlemen, the result, the finish line is rewarding. It shows the ITU family at its best. And there are so many people that made this success possible, that made it really a resounding success. And I wanna take a, a moment to recognize them personally. And of course, first and foremost, the UAE, sixth time host of the ITU family. We thank you for all that you have done for the excellent facilities, the logistics, the amenities, everything possible to meet our needs. It was truly an honor for us to celebrate for the second time your National Day with you on the 2nd of December. And to DG Majed Almezmar and to the entire TDRA team, Thank you, thank you for those tireless efforts over more than three years of preparations from the fantastic, amazing conference halls to the exhibition, to the incredible receptions, to the chess, to the tic-tac-toe, to the mini soccer and the backgammon throughout the venue. That was such a great way to help further stimulate the dialogue and the discussions that made this event so successful. To our chair, Mohammed Al Ramzi, who has been so calm and so steadfast, we thank you for your leadership in steering this WRC to a great success. You led these proceedings with candor, with compassion, and with charisma, with your infinite patience, your dedication, and your continued sense of 
humor throughout. I think he really helped to lighten the load in those difficult moments. Chair, we too express our thanks to your mother, to your wife, and to your children for, for loaning you to us over this past year, and in particular over these past four weeks. To the six conference vice chairs, to the chairs and vice chairs of every committee, the working groups, the drafting groups, the ad hoc groups, we thank you for your outstanding efforts. Let me also take an opportunity to recognize all the women chairs and vice chairs and committee secretaries. They are role models for women participating in future WRCs. And I'm so proud that we had more women in this conference, going from 18% in 2019 up to 22% this time. And I think what's so incredible is that, yes, there were more women represented, but even better, these women were vocal and these women were leading. So bravo, and I look forward to seeing more women. Let's try to double the participation for the next WRC. Let me also join the, the many delegates that have expressed gratitude for the wisdom, the guidance, and the patience of the Radio Regulations Board. Thank you for all you do for this great union. And of course, to the director of the Radio Communications Bureau, my friend, my colleague, Mario Manjevich, and to the deputy director, Joanne Wilson, Secretary of the Plenary, congratulations to both of you uh, for bringing, bringing a second successful WRC to bear. Congrats to both of you. And of course, to the BR staff, the ITU colleagues that have worked so hard on this conference, both here in Dubai and back home in Geneva. Thank you for your dedication. Thank you for your expertise and your professionalism over these many, many weeks. Of course, a special thanks to the interpreters, the captioners, the IT and security staff, the hospitality staff, and everyone else who helped make this event so successful. Ladies and gentlemen, as I said, WRC was a marathon, but the race continues and, and nobody can run this one alone. In the closing of COP28, the UN Secretary General said that multilateralism remains humanity's greatest hope. And I think that WRC23 proved that multilateralism is alive and strong in this very room. I thank you for your excellent collaborative work. We can look to our shared digital future with renewed hope and with faith in our ability to deliver for people and for planet. The next study cycle promises to be groundbreaking giving ITR unprecedented possibilities to explore better and more efficient ways to use spectrum and satellite orbits for the benefit of all humanity, here on Earth, in space, and even around the moon. The visionary new agenda item to study lunar communications for WRC 27, of course, is just one example of these very exciting possibilities 60 years after ITU first began allocating frequencies for space activities. These are extraordinary times for technology and also for ITU. And let's show the world that this not so ordinary organization is actually, in fact, quite an extraordinary one. 2024 is gonna be a key year for the Summit of the Futures that is fast approaching. And ladies and gentlemen, I would encourage us all to build on the WRC 23 outcomes and put radio communications and digital front and center. With that, Mr. Chairman, ladies and gentlemen, I wish you a safe journey back home. My warmest wishes to all of you and your families over this holiday season. And may 2024 bring much peace, happiness, good health, and a more inclusive, safer digital world. Thank you very much.